Hey everybody, this is Bill Scheid from the TTM Djembe Academy in Winston-Salem. One of the things I really love about studying djembe with Mamadi Keita is you can learn music with Mamadi from ethnic groups and regions all over the country of Guinea. When he was in the ballet, he was in the ballet for more than 20 years, he had the opportunity to travel all over the country and learn music from all these different ethnic groups and all these different regions. But if you've studied with Mamadi, you may notice that he never teaches any rhythms that come from the Pul ethnic group that are found in Middle Guinea, Moyen Guinea in French. That's this area of the country right here. So I asked him one time, I said, Baba, how come we don't learn any djembe music that comes from the pull? And I'll tell you what he said, I'll give you his words because I am by no means a subject matter expert on the culture of the pull. He said that the main instruments in the music of the pull are the wasamba, the calabash, the flute, of course, which they're very well known for, and the bolon. The wasamba, if you've never seen it before, is a stick that has a curve at the end and it has large discs on this part and you shake the stick and it makes a, a shaking sound. That's the wasamba. The calabash, he said, they play it by tapping on it. Uh, the flute is a transverse flute, which means you play it like this. And the bolon is a stringed instrument, uh, kind of a lower pitched stringed instrument. And he said that if the pull have djembes in their music, it's often just one, and rarely two. Sometimes two, but very rarely. And he told me he's never ever seen the pull with three djembes all at the same time. And I asked him and he said, no, the pull do not play dunum. Traditionally speaking, of course, they don't play dunum. So he said because uh, the djembe is not a major part of their music, he just doesn't teach it. Uh, it of course, the music of the djembe is much more developed in other cultures. In Guinea, there's a uh, more variety of rhythms, more variety of feelings, time signatures, etc, etc. So there you have it. If you'd like to study with Mama Diketa directly, check out our website ttmda.com. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.